we can now switch to the logic analyzer view application is now running blue LED is blinking we now press the user button and we start to see the expected activity on I2C bus we see five frames most important one are, are number three and number five on number three we see six bytes received and on number five we see the final six bytes received we now want to check if our 12 bytes were correctly received via DMA using LPBAM so we entered in the uh, debug section and uh, we are now comparing the first and second group of six bytes received as we can see these are identical so first six bytes receiving are filling buffer time position from 0 to 5 and second group of six bytes is filling buffer time position from 6 to 11 so our DMA acquisition using LPBAM is working correctly we are now going to measure power consumption using cube monitor power we have now switched to cube monitor power we are connected to its nuclear power shield we reset the target we set 1 kilohertz as sample frequency and we start the acquisition Blue LED is blinking fast, I press the user button and we see MCU is going in stop 2 for 800 milliseconds which is exactly the time needed for I2C to transfer data average power consumption is only 5 microamps this result is truly remarkable especially if compared with solutions that do not have a PIPAM SAS system and typically need to wake up from stop to perform this kind of transfer so we have easily beat our first ultra low power application using CubeMX and LPBOM tool configurator we can now add more complexity by inserting a second queue into our application coming back to the purpose of our hands-on we now have to implement the low power timer 3 triggered by low power timer 1 in order to generate a PWM on a GPIO with a modulated duty cycle technically this will be a new queue it will be triggered by low power timer 1 and we will run in circular loop PWM functions 2 and 3 will be used to write auto reload register and counter register via LPDMA to update duty cycle in addition we will also show how to debug an LP1 scenario in stop 2 it's possible to configure free power alternate function output for debug purposes using CubeMX. These pins are CL sleep, CD stop, and SRD stop. CL sleep and CS stop are showing the activity on CPU domain, instead, SRD stop is showing the state on smart run domain. In stop 2, we expect to see CL sleep and C stop high, and SRD stop toggling and going to zero in case of LPDMA transfer activity. Let's now go through the steps we did to add the second queue. As first thing, second queue will be mapped to channel 1. So we change it and configure the channel 1 into linked list mode. And in power state, we added the three debug pins we just mentioned. Inside LP1 scenario and configuration, a second queue was added it includes three function one for the start and two for updating the PWM and these two function will be put in circular mode in pinouting configuration we simply configure low power timer 3 as an output assigning pin PC3 now let's move to the logic analyzer to see the output that we get we have initialized the logic analyzer we press user button and we see the expected activity on I2C signals with fire frames for TX and RX. We observe that LP team free channel keeps on being modulated in circular loop. The bank pin stays high, meaning that there is activity in smart run domain, and we are in stop two. SRD stop goes low during DMA transfer operations. 
It's important to underline that when buffer is filled, MCU comes back to run mode, as we can see from the back signals that are becoming low. And also, we can see that we are in run mode from the slow blinking of our LED. Even in run mode, LP1 system keeps on operating, modulating the PWM output of LP Team 3 via LPDMA. This concludes our webinar. We saw that LP1 is a unique functionality introduced into STM42U5 to achieve ultra low power consumption. And thanks to LP1, peripherals can operate independently from software running on MCU. There's no need for CPU while performing tasks and all is based on DMA. We experienced how QBMX helps the developer to abstract linked list complexity by means of a very user-friendly GUI for LP1 scenario configuration. For additional information on LPBAM, STM42U5 and QBMX, you can refer to these resources available on st.com. Thank you very much for your attention.